guys welcome to Tevi Talks uh, in this video we are going to look at a numerical problem to do with a projectile motion and the question reads a projectile is fired at an angle of 60 degrees above the horizontal and it strikes the building 30 meters away at a point 15 meters above the point of projection uh, find the speed of projection then they are also saying that we should find the velocity when it strikes the building okay so uh, let us begin by sketching we begin by sketching so this is a projectile and this is the trajectory Remember we said a trajectory is a path described by a projectile. So it has an angle of projection which is 60 and uh, we have a building at 30 meters. Up to 30 meters there is a building. Okay? There is a building at this point here and uh, it just passes above the horizon, strikes a building, it strikes it and then goes. Now, they are saying we should find the speed with which this projectile is projected. Now, um, we don't know the speed, but uh, from the data given, we have uh, uh, we have the angle of projection. We have the distance up to the house as thirty meters. Now, uh, how do we do? How do we get the speed of projection? How do we get the speed of projection? There are various ways of getting the speed of projection. For example, we know that we have horizontal range R. But R, we said R is equal to U cos theta times T, where T is the time taken to move from here up to around that. So this means that uh, 30 is equal to U. We do not know U. So U uh, cos 60 times T. Therefore, uh, we know that... Uh, Time from this one tells me that time is equal to 30 out of uh, u cos 60. So I can leave this at that. Now, they said that uh, strikes a building 30 meters away at a point 15 meters above. Now, the height. Of this projectile is uh, 15 meters. Now we can look at an expression that uh, has uh, that has vertical displacement, and we know that that expression was u sine theta times the time of projection minus uh, a half dt squared. But remember, we have the value of t here. So our vertical displacement is 15 times the initial velocity that we do not know times sine theta times the value of t. But uh, let us simplify this further. 30 divided by cos 60. 30 divided by cos 60. Uh, what do we get? We get a cos theta, cos 60 is a half. So 30 divided by a half, we get that value. Therefore, our t is equivalent to 60 divided by u times, I mean, minus g out of 2 into t. t is 60 out of u. Now this u goes with the, this one, and this angle of course is uh, 
60. Therefore, 15 is equal to uh, is equal to 60 sine 60 minus 9.81 divided by 2 into 60 out of u the whole of it squared now let me compute slowly by slowly 60 sine 60 this gives me 51.96 minus 4.593 into a 60 square is 3600 out of u squared now we collect like terms this crosses equal signs this is 15 minus uh, uh, 51 the answer it gives me is negative 36.96 which is equal to uh, this is equal to negative 4.95 times uh, that value out of u squared now let us compute negative 4.905 times uh, 60, I mean times 3600 this value comes out uh, the value comes out to be negative uh, 17,000 658 but this is out of u squared therefore u squared is equal to that value divided by negative 6 that but of course the negative divided by negative that one dies away and uh, therefore u is u squared is uh, 477.7597 we get we get the root of this answer uh, we get the root we get the root of the answer uh, root Four seven seven point seven five nine seven. The answer of U is twenty one point eight six meters per second. So that is the velocity with which this body was projected and. I believe that it is possible that we can come up with another alternative of how to go about it and uh, the alternative here we can use uh, the equation of a trajectory which we said that uh, it is x and theta minus gx out of um, uh, 2u squared cos theta square now what is not known in this expression it is only u let us substitute the vertical displacement this is 15 and the horizontal one is 30 tiny 60 minus 9.81 times 30 squared divided by 2 u squared cos 60 squared now let's try simplifying that again 30 times 60 the s is 51.96 uh, it crosses when we subtract here we get minus 6.96 6.96 
negative six negative thirty six point nine six equaling to negi nine point eight one times thirty squared this gives me uh, this gives me uh, negative that divided by two I'm simplifying further uh, cos open bracket cos sixty squared this gives me that this is one one zero three point six two five out of u squared out of u squared and uh, uh, let's try to see if it really works out i'm already seeing some deviation here let me compute properly one more time mm. now from here if this expression is true we should be in position to substitute and uh, in your own free time calculate and get the value of u and uh, i must assure you that that value should be the same as uh, this one here that value should be the same now we go to Question, I mean Roman numeral 2, where they say we find the velocity when it strikes the building. Now, at this point here, they need, the, we know that the velocity always has two components. It has uh, the vertical component and the, the horizontal component and their resultant can be traced along there. So the velocity that they need from us at this material time, it is uh, the velocity that is calculated from V is equal to Vx squared plus Vy squared. But uh, uh, we do not know Vy. We know that Vy is equal to u sine theta minus gt. Do we know gt? We, I mean, do we know t? We do not know t, but t, we saw that t is equal to 60 out of u, which u we got as 21.86. Therefore, from here, we can get our t. So 60 divided by 21.86. I get my value of t as 22.74 seconds. That is my t. Now, if I have, if I have successfully gotten t, means I can get my vy. So uh, my vy, vy is going to be equal to u, which is 21.86 sine 60 minus 9.87 times uh, sine minus 9.81 times 7.4 so let me compute that that is the uh, 21.86 sine 60 minus 9.81 times 2.74 uh, we get our vy as a uh, let me confirm this value we are getting negative 7.95 meters per second so let me also get my vx we know that vx is given by the value u cos theta so this is 21.86 cos 16 so 21.86 
equals 60. This gives me my Vx as 10.93 meters per second. Therefore, my V, I'm substituting Vx, this is 10.93 squared plus 7.95 squared under root. So it's 10.93 squared plus 7.95 squared root of root of my answer. I get my result and velocity as 13 0.5 meters per second. But remember that uh, velocity is a vector quantity which has got both the uh, magnitude and the uh, direction. Therefore, I'm also supposed to come and get the direction. But we say the direction here is got from tan theta uh, which is equal to Vy out of Vx according to the triangle which we we'll get from here opposite over the adjacent. Therefore, this is uh, our Vy which is 7.95 divided by 10.93. So our theta is uh, the tan inverse of the value we get from there. This is 7.95 divided by 10.93 and I get uh, 